This is Chicho. What I'd like to do right now is just do a follow up on the previous video that we did where I showed you a couple of techniques, a couple of hand tricks that I know of uh, to learn your multiplication table. And uh, one of them was uh, basically holding out your hands like this and counting your digits uh, from one to 10, right? So you would start off with the first pinky over here. You would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten right and if uh, if you want to multiply any of these numbers with nine all you end up doing is just going down uh, the line and all you do is just fold back your number right and the result is whatever that the two numbers show um, is uh, what you get when you multiply that number with nine so for example if you're multiplying two by nine you go one two hold down the number 2 times 9 is 1 and an 8, so it's 18, right? So let's just go through the whole thing, and uh, we can see that it works for all of them, right? So again, we, we can do, if we do 1 times 9, you go just hold down the finger, go down to 1, hold down the finger, and 1 times 9 is just 9. If you do 2 times 9, you go 1, 1, 2, and you pull this back, and it's 18, right? 3 times 9 is 27. 4 times 9 is 36, 5 times 9 is 45, 6 times 9 is 54, 7 times 9 is 63, 8 times 9 is 72, 9 times 9 is 81, and 10 times 9 is 9, and you got a 0 at the end, so it's 90, right? Really easy hand trick. Uh, really easy to remember and it's something that uh, I've been using for a while just just for uh, just to lighten things up and if anybody has a hard time multiplying by 9 I show them this trick and they remember it off the get-go now I was just recently introduced to another hand trick um, that I, a student showed it to me or uh, the brother of a student who's really who was really keen on uh, when I showed him this trick, he was really excited, and um, he went he went ahead, and I asked him to to do this as a homework for me, is to show me another hand trick because he wanted more information. I said, you know what, uh, you learn it and you show it to me. And um, the next week, when I saw him, he ran up to me all excited. He said, listen, listen, I have I found another trick. And then I said, okay, sure, show it to me. And the trick is basically this. You take your hands as we, we did with the first one, right? What you do though now is you do your thumbs, you count these as six. So your thumbs are six and then seven, eight, nine, ten. And this multiplication, this trick works for numbers from six and multiplying numbers from six to ten. So 6 to 10 multiplied by 6 to 10, this gives you all the answers. And, you know, it, so it gives you more answers. And it is a little bit more complicated, but it's uh, super powerful because usually it's the higher numbers that people have a harder time remembering the multiplication table for. So what you do is you start off with your thumbs as being 6 and you go 7, 8, 9, 10 right so if you want to for example multiply seven times eight so you take one hand and you go to seven you go six seven you take the other hand and you go to eight you go six seven eight you touch the seven and the eight together and then the way it works is all the numbers from the touching from your two fingers touching and back including the two fingers that are touching you count those as tens so this becomes 10 20 30 40 50 right the numbers after the two two fingers that you've touched, what you end up doing is you multiply these two numbers together and there's two left on this finger and three left on this one. So two times three is six. So seven times eight is 50, one, two, three, four, five. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Two times three is six, 56, right? And this works for all the numbers from six to 10 multiplied together. So what we're going to do right now is just go through and confirm that that's the case, right? So let's start off with um, with six, right? We're going to use this one as uh, as our six, and we're going to go down the road six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to multiply six by six, and this one is uh, this one and the next one are unique because six times six is. 
the two thumbs touching together, right? So this is a 10 and this is a 10. And then you have four times four and four times four is 16. So you have 10, 20 plus 16, which is 36, which is what six times six is. Let's say for the next number, we're gonna multiply six times seven. So you take your six and you take your seven, and you touch them together. So six times seven is 10, 20, 30, right? And then you have three, three times four, which is 12, right? So 30 plus 12 is 42, which is what six times seven is, right? If you go to six times eight, I take my eighth finger, eight position anyway, and six position, multiply them together, eight times six is 10, 20, 30, 40, and then you got two times four, which is eight, so that's 48. Six times nine, and you got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? And then one times four is four, so six times nine is 54. 6 times 10, that's an easy one. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, right? We have four numbers left here, but we've got no numbers left on this hand. So 4 times 0 is just 0. So 6 times 10 is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, right? Let's go up to the 7 digit, right? Let's see what these numbers multiplied by 7 look like. We already did 7 times 6, right? Because 6 times 7 is the same thing as 7 times 6. So we're going to skip that. We're going to go to 7 times 7. 7 times 7 is 10, 20, 30, 40. And then we've got 3 times 3, which is 9. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 8 is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 2 times 3 is 6. So 7, 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 9, we got... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. One times three is three. So seven times nine is 63. Seven times 10, right? This is the 10th position. Is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then we've got three times zero, which is zero. So seven times 10 is 70, right? Let's go to eight. Well, as before, we did 6 times 8 and 7 times 8, so we can skip those two, 8 times 6 and 8 times 7. We're going to go to 8 times 8. 8 times 8 is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then we've got 2 times 2, which is 4. So 8 times 8 is 64, right? 8 times 9, we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then 1 times 2 is 2. So 8 times 9 is 72, right? 8 times 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 0 at the back, right? So 10 times, uh, 8 times 10 is 80, right? That's 8 fingers, 8 tens we got up. What we're going to do is go to 9. 9 times 6 we've already done. It's the same thing as 6 times 9. 9 times 7, 9 times 8 we've already done. Now what we're going to do is do 9 times 9. 9 times 9 is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 80, and at the back we've got 1 times 1, which is 1. So 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 10 is going to be 90, and there's a 0 at the back, right? So 9 times 10 is 90. And then the last digit we have is the tenth position, right? So 10 times 10, because we've done 10 times all the other ones, right? We did 10 times 6, 10 times 7, 10 times 8, 10 times 9. So 10 times 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, right? So 10 times 10 is 100.